Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I'm going to show you how to calculate direct and collateral relationship. And today we are going to do it for the uh, individual D and M. As you see, individuals D and M are relatives, so uh, K and L would be parents of M, H would be a parent of K, so would be grandparent and D would be great grandparent of M. So if this is going to be say male, if this is going to be a male, we can say that um, ancestor T would be great grandfather of M. But now also consider such situation, for example, if um, we wouldn't have any um, relatives on this side and would have only uh, relationship on this side. Who is going to be person D to M? Once again this is parent, this is grandparent, this is great-grandparent, so this is going to be great-grand-uncle. So as you see the same person in our pedigree because here we have inbreeding, uh, K and L has common ancestors A and B that's why this person D uh, can relate to M on both, uh, say, this is going to be father side, so on both father side and mother side, and also would be relative of father and mother. And uh, in this case, we can uh, calculate direct and collateral relationship and uh, in order to do so, we are going to use formula uh, where uh, coefficient of relationship, uh, so R of D and M, D and M would equal to sigma one half in the power of N. And N here stands for the passes between M and D. So let's count uh, how many passes we have here. Uh, so let's first um, calculate direct relationship and this would be the shortest pass between individual D and M. So this is going to be our pass. So how many passes we have here? One, two and three. So one, two and three. And each time uh, genetic makeup would be diluted uh, by one half. So uh, one half here, we can put one half here and one half here. And this is what one half here stands for. And now uh, we can calculate uh, our direct relationship as so uh, R D M direct. would equal to one half raised three. So direct relationship uh, would give us one eighth. And now we can uh, calculate uh, collateral re relationship. And as you see, uh, this person D can also relate to uh, individual M through common ancestors and common ancestors would be uh, individual A and B because uh, this is going to be relatives of both parents of individual M. So the first pathway would be through the individual A. So one, two, three, four and five. So one, two, three, four and five. So collateral uh, relationship can be through the individual A and B. So collateral uh, would be through the individual A and individual B. So we already have found that uh, individual A would be according to our formula one half raised and if we would make lines through the individual B, 
uh, we also going to get five lines five passes so going to be one two three four and five so we would have one half raised five so here we are going to get one thirty two and here we also going to get one over thirty two and now we have to combine uh, all this uh, direct uh, relationship and collateral relationship as you see sigma in our formula uh, stands for the addition of all uh, possible direct and collateral relationship so basically we have to add uh, one eight which is a direct relationship plus one thirty two plus one thirty two in order to add these numbers, denominator have to be the same, so we have to multiply this number by 4, both numerator and denominator, and we are going to get here 4 plus 1 plus 1 would be 6 over uh, 32. Or we can reduce this number and divide by 2. And the final answer would be 3 sixteenths. And this is going to be our answer. So R of D and M would equal to 3 sixteenths. And if we need an answer in decimal form, uh, we have to divide 3 by 16. And we are going to get... Um, we are going to get... Uh, 0 0.1875 and if we need an answer in percentage form we just have to multiply this number by 100 or move this decimal point two places to the right and this is going to be our answer uh, that uh, coefficient of relationship between individual D and M would be 18.75%. Uh, we use in our calculation both direct and collateral relationship and we add uh, all this relationship. This is how we got our final answer. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.